Hi guys and welcome back! Ready to prepare a model using some special features of Litchi Slicer? Today we chose to focus only on some features to explain you how they work so you could reproduce the workflow at home. And to do so, we chose a model from the famous game Final Fantasy. We chose Tifa Character, a model from CA3D Studio. And let's just say we didn't only print it, but we created a full figurine with an amazing lighting system. Stay tuned until the end to see the result and how we did it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to not miss any video and tips on 3D printing. But for now, let's dive right into Litchi Slicer. Let's start with all the pieces in our scene. We're going to select specific pieces to show you some really cool features. So we're starting with the base on the model here. A base like this one is easier to orientate and support, since you have this big surface to place all the supports without being scared of damaging it. For large surfaces like this one, we suggest you use the projection support feature. Click on Auto in the support menu and you'll find projection supports. Click to start and you're arriving in this dedicated interface. Click on the surface you want to support, then on Preview Supports. Basically here, in the global menu, we're choosing the type of supports we want to use and the interval there's going to be between each of them. Click on Add Supports and this model is done! Let's do another important piece of the model, the bust. Lots of models have pieces like this needed to be hollowed to save some resin and make them lighter weight. Let's show you the Hollowing 3D Pro feature before supporting it. If you're using the slicer as a free user, you'll have the option of the Hollowing 2D, but it will be less accurate and clean than the Hollowing 3D. Let us know if you want a video comparing both of these features. So we're starting by clicking on Add Update to hollow the model. Once it's done, you can either leave it like that or change some settings. You can change the thickness, which will impact the thickness of the walls of your model. It depends if you want it thinner or thicker. The second setting is the quality. Here, you'll be able to choose the polygon quality on the inside of your 3D model. Depending on the shape of your model, this could save you from adding internal supports. Every time, click on Add Update to save and apply your settings on your model. Now that the hollowing part is done, we need to add a holes to avoid suction cap effects when printing. And that's where Litchi has a super cool feature called the suction cap detector. Once you run it, you can see the model is yellow. This indicates that a suction cap effect will happen when printing. To let resin and air go through the model and avoid this effect, we're placing holes onto the model. Try to choose places where the holes won't be visible once your model is printed. In our case, we place them in the different keys of the model so it won't be visible when assembling all the parts. It's pretty easy, you can adjust the diameter of the hole and the penetration of it. Last step for this piece is to add supports. To also add internal supports easily, we suggest you use our automatic support feature. This will save you time while supporting the entire model. Let's now see how to support instantly all the islands we may find on a model. Islands are one of the most important things. It's basically any part of the model floating in the air. And if they're not supported, the whole print will fail. Let's see the islands we may have here. Select the model and go to the island in the support menu. Before clicking on the island detector feature, we need to choose the accuracy. Of course, we recommend the maximum level, which is real. This level will take into consideration every single layer of the model to find absolutely all the islands possible on there. Now we can see all the islands. We can either support them manually or do something way better and faster, which is clicking on Add Supports to All Islands. Of course, we can add more supports if needed or if we want the model to be more steady. Last step is adding bracings if the supports are pretty high. We usually recommend adding bracings only to the supports that are higher than 30 mm. But we can do a specific video on bracings and what it's for. Let us know in the comments if you want to know more. Ok, let's go print this model and see how it turned out. We printed most of the pieces in the Inicubic M5S using Soraya Tech Fast Navy Grey resin. For the base, since we wanted to add some lights, we needed a transparent resin so we used the smoky black also from Soraya Tech in the Apex Maker 3D printer. Time for the cleaning process. We sanded some of the pieces to have the smoothest surfaces and then we primed them. Then it was time to assemble everything. And here's the final result of Tifa from Final Fantasy. All the pieces are perfectly printed and assembled and the lights look so cool in this model. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and let us a comment on what you want to see next. See you soon!